Alright, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create this Xbox birthday party invitation uh, using nothing but Microsoft Word in a browser. And the idea for creating this 5x7 invitation um, came from my YouTube channel, which I have a number of other videos, everything from creating invitations to flyers, um, to brochures, raffle tickets, chalkboard tutorials. Um, I also have a video on here calling installing fonts. Uh, searching fonts and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. I am using some unique fonts that I downloaded uh, to create this invitation. Also, um, please like any and all of my videos that you find useful and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd be so appreciative. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on creating this 5x7 Xbox 360 invitation. Again, this came as a recommendation off of my YouTube channel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to File, New, blank document. First thing I'm going to do is click on insert and I'm going to click on shapes and I'm going to click over here to the rectangle and I'm just going to click anywhere on the page. From here I know that this is selected because I have the little squares but I'm going to go ahead and click on format and I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to make this again 5 by 7. Um, if you obviously wanted to make this smaller to fit in a 4x6 envelope, so you can do that. I just happen to have a lot of 5x7 envelopes at my house. <laughs> and you can um, fit a lot more words on the 5x7 as well. So I'm going to do a shape fill of black and a shape outline of black. And again, all I did was I knew that this was selected. The format tab is selected. I do shape fill and shape outline of black. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and center this. So I'm going to move this around until I see sort of this green T we're crossed in the middle and I now know that this is centered and this is just gonna um, make it easier when I add words and text boxes, text boxes to center those as well. I now want to go through and insert a text box and I want to say draw a text box and I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a text box right here. Um, a few things I want to do here, the first of which is I know this text box is selected because it um, has these little squares around it. I want to click on, oops, sorry about that. Um, I want to click on format and I want to do a shape fill of no fill for this text box and a shape outline of no outline. Okay. Then I want to go to the home and I want to click on text and I want to make that white. Okay. Now I want to type in game on and I want to do that all in capital letters. And the font that I used for that is AR Destin. Again, if you don't have that font, please do a search for that. Say download AR Destin free font and um, it will come up. And this is 55. And again, if it doesn't all fit on the text box, you can just make the text box bigger. We then want to move over and we want to center this. Okay. And then we can make this text box a little bit smaller if we want to do that. Now we want to go through and insert another text box. And we want to say draw text box and we want to draw that directly under there. And we want to go through the same thing as we want to click on format. We want to do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And we want to go to home and we want to make this a white font. We want to write calling all gamers to come celebrate. And then from here, we can go ahead and highlight this. We want to go to home and we want to center this. And we want to make this a 16 point font. And this font is Calibri Light. Okay. And again, we know this is centered and we want to have this right below Game On. Now what we need to do, if we take a look at here, is we need to get this image. Okay. So we're going to go back to um, the web and I like to use Google. If you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. But I'm going to type in Xbox Logo Green. Okay, and then I'm going to click on images. And then from here, I am going to scroll down till I find this particular logo. From here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say save picture as. And I'm going to save this as Xbox. Ooh, actually, no, we don't. Um, Xbox logo. And we have it. So now what we can do is we can click on insert picture. And we want to go to our desktop, we want to go to our video, and we want to go to our Xbox, and we want to insert that Xbox logo. 
Okay. Now we can't very easily move this around and we can't see it. So what we want to do is this image is, is um, selected because we see these green boxes and what we want to do is we want to right click and we want to say wrap text and we want to say in front of text. Now we can very easily move this around. Okay. Now what we want to do is click on format and we want to make the width of this is five because this is a five by seven obviously. Um, and then what we want to do is click on format, we want to click on crop. Once we click on crop, we can see this little T. So if you see my mouse, we can see that it turns in a little T. You want to see till it turns in a little T and then you just want to move that image down. And then once again, click on format, click on crop, and we want to move this up. If you want to get rid of the Xbox 360, you absolutely can. The person who um, actually wanted this asked specifically for Xbox 360, so I'm assuming he wanted that in there. And I'm actually going to crop this a little bit over on this side as well and then just kind of enlarge this. So it goes all the way over. Okay. And then we can very easily just kind of move this up. And if we want to move this up even more, what we can do is always click on this text box and then we can right click and we can say bring to front. Okay. Now that won't be cutting that off. All right, now what we want to do is insert a, another text box and we want to draw that text box and we want to go down here and we want to say Cole's ninth birthday and we want to highlight this and once again we want to click on format and do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline and we want to go home and um, let's make this a white font for now just so we can see it, but we will be changing that. And what we wanna do um, is change this font to Final Fantasy. And again, I downloaded and installed that font, so you um, will more than likely have to do that. I actually found that one recently. And the size of this is a 48 point font, okay? Um, the next thing I wanna do is I want to center, oopsies, I want to center this. Um, and then I want to change the nine. The nine doesn't, um, I don't like the, the font for the, the numbers there. So I actually changed the font of that to be Bodini NT. And I changed the size of that to 60, okay? And then finally, what we want to do is we actually want to change this back to black font and we wanna go over here and put in a glow, okay? And we can go ahead and put in this green glow. Now that's not exactly what we want, but it's starting to look what we want. What I want is I wanna get the same exact color green and make it that sort of green background. So what I need to do to match a color is I need to open up Paint. Paint should come default with um, your Microsoft Office. And I wanna to go to open, and I wanna open up my Xbox logo. Now from here, you wanna click on this little tool for color picker, and you can either choose this green or you can choose this bright green. I like that bright green, um, but really you can choose whatever you want depending on, on your own aesthetic. And then what you wanna do is write down these numbers here for the red, green, and blue. This is 192, 251, and 13, okay? So now what we wanna do is go back to this glow, and then we can write more colors, and we wanna do more colors. From here, for custom, we wanna do 192, we wanna do 251, and we wanna do 13. We wanna click OK. And that is much more bolder and brighter. Okay. Again, if you wanted to pick this Xbox color, which isn't quite so um, bold and bright, you could absolutely have done that as well. Okay. Let's actually move this down just a bit. All right. Um, and then finally, I uh, am back from the old Atari days, <laughs> so I just couldn't resist doing a bit of a throwback to that. So um, I went ahead and did its game time, again, all in capital letters. And again, you wanna highlight this text, and we wanna to go to format and do a shape full of no fill, shape outline of no outline, go to home, and we wanna make this white. 
And the font I use for this is Joystick Monospace. And again, this just brings me back to the old Atari days. And uh, we want to make this an 18 point font. And then again, going back to the uh, throwback for the old Atari days, I actually added in a symbol. So you want to do put a space in there and then do insert and go all the way over to symbol. Okay, when you go to um, symbol, you can do more symbols. Pretty much most fonts that you um, download have unique symbols. And so this is the font of monospace. Most people are familiar with the wingdings when they look at the um, special characters, but I wanted the joystick monospace and I just double clicked or you can click on insert to insert these little um, kind of uh, Atari guys. And then I can just right click and do a copy and then go over here and then do a paste. Okay. Oops. There we go. And once again, we can go to home and we can center this. Okay. Um, all right. So that is how you can add that piece. And then finally, all we want to do is add in our final text. And we're going to add a text box and draw a text box. And we're going to make this pretty big. And again, we're going to do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And from here, we're just going to do where. And again, we need to highlight this text and make this white. So we're going to go to home and make that white. Um, and you know what, rather than typing all this out, um, I'm just going to copy and paste because it's, again, a lot of typing. So I'm going to right click and do a copy. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and do a paste. And um, we can go and center it. And that's about it. That's how you can very easily create these Xbox invitations. Um, I have added, I was kind of playing around with adding an additional little um, detail where you can go back to Google, and this is kind of up to you, um, where I did Xbox green circle, and I'm going to type in .png, and the reason why I want a PNG is I want it to be... Um, translucent on the background, so I don't want any white background. So if we can see this gray and white checkered on the background, we know that that is just the image and we can do a save picture as, and we can just put that in there. And again, this isn't on um, the image I showed you, but again, I, I was kind of toying with it and I just couldn't decide if I liked it. Again, we're gonna right click and we're gonna do wrap text and we're gonna say in front of text like we did before. And we're just gonna kind of move this over to the side and we're going to click on crop and we're gonna crop this we are going to crop this. And this just kind of adds a little something. And then we can right click and we can say copy and we can go to paste. And then we can click on format and we can click on rotate. And then we could rotate it over there and move this over here. And you can basically just do the um, four corners um, just to add a little something. And again, all I'm doing is just clicking on rotate. And then we can right click and do a copy. Actually, we can right click and do a copy and then do a paste. And then again, we can format and we can rotate. There we go. And then just move this guy down. Um, and that again just kind of adds a little little additional detail. Again, I couldn't decide if I liked it or not, but I thought I'd throw in the video if you wanted to do that. And that's about it. Um, and that is how you can create these um, cute little Xbox invitations. And actually, I don't want to say cute because they're typically for boys. <laughs> um, but if you wanted to, too, if you don't like the spacing, you can always move this down a little bit and kind of um, click on one of the text boxes, hold down the shift key, click on the other text box, and just move everything down if you feel like things need to come down a bit and it's a little too on top. And we can do that. And then just, I'm using the um, arrow keys on my keyboard to uh, move these down in a fine grained fashion. Um, and that's it. That's how you can create these. So uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like this video. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel and um, like any and all the videos that you find useful. I would be so appreciative. And uh, thanks so much for watching.